the actual fact is that the, the hospitals started before and they were called hospitalers because they did what? Open hospitals. Well, that to me, is, it sends a shudder up my spine. That's not a very good thing because these were guys were mendicants. They were apothecaries. Uh-huh. Let's see where that road would lead you. You're talking about, you know, today's uh, lockdown and the people behind it. Yeah, the Club of Rome, ever heard of them? The Club of Rome is a global network of independent and renowned thinkers. The Club of Rome analyzes today's challenges facing the world, their root causes, and the possible futures in a systematic and holistic manner. The Club of Rome encourages global debate in order to set in motion actions that by the middle of the century will ensure a more secure, equitable, and prosperous world. The Club of Rome is one of the most insidious, baneful organizations in existence today, which has done intolerable, immeasurable harm to the United States of America. This committee of 300 told a man called Aurelio Pecchi to form this Club of Rome with the main object of bringing down the industries and the agricultural development of the United States. He immediately wrote a paper in which he said there are too many people on the earth and that the United States, with its industrial development, its agricultural re development, is responsible for this curse of overpopulation. And he picked up the documentation for his work from Lord Bertrand Russell, a senior statesman of the Committee of 300, and Lord Bertrand Russell had written a work called The Impact of Science on Society. And if you can ever secure a copy of that book, which I doubt you'll be able to get, you will see in there that he said, the world is grossly overpopulated and we have to get rid of at least half of the world's population. And it doesn't matter how we do it. So the Club of Rome was instituted and organized to start an attack on the world's population using the United States as the whipping boy. And they came up with a paper called the Zero Growth Post-Industrial Plan for Industry and Agriculture for the United States of America. Three days after that plan was accepted as official United States policy by James Earl Carter, I was able to, through my intelligence people, get a copy of this insidious document. Basically what it said was that the middle class in the United States of America had to be destroyed because in the coming push to a world order, the middle class would be the stumbling block because history had shown that the peasant class in ancient days when they had revolted, were just easily crushed, crushed. There was no resistance. But now had grown a new super class of people in the United States called the middle class, who had long-term employment, who had job security, who were well paid, who could afford to buy the products that were made by the United States and didn't need to buy products from China or anywhere else. And the Club of Rome post-industrial zero growth paper said this has got to stop. We have to bring down the middle class of the United States and the way that we will do this, the way that we will accomplish this task is by crushing their industries. The point I'm trying to make ladies and gentlemen is that the federal government, the secret upper level parallel government that runs the United States does not want you to know that you have an upper level parallel government that calls the shots, that dictates what is going to happen to your life and mine.